Yeah, hi guys, it's Michael, and we have made this PCB in the first part of this, well, I guess it's a trilogy or maybe even four parts. Um, this is the result, the PCB. It's not stripped yet, so we'll do that. And after we strip it, we'll tin it. So why do we do this? It's quite easy, because stripped copper is very fragile and it will corrode very quickly oxidize I mean this is how it comes out after etching with the photo finish still on side we remove it with an organic suspension like acetone don't know the English phrase it's very sharp and bad smelling stuff. Um, let's get something here. I mean, I don't want to do this on this. I mean, this is a very good base, but I don't want to push it too much because that stuff is really nasty. So this, what I'm doing now is called stripping the PCB, making it blank. Which you, you would do this only if you'd use the PCB right away or tinning it, that's what we are doing. But don't strip it before you need it. Also, the other side of these Bunger PCBs is coated with that stuff. Well, maybe for a some sort of a for, uh, sort of an improvised uh, population print layer, whatever it is. But it's not so good. Um, you need to make this very very blank because if you don't the tinner won't get working so this stuff this organic suspension acetone will make it very fat free and this is also something very important important this is why I'm touching the PCB only here on the other layer so get tint okay should be blank enough now it, it looks very very good if you make it like this the problem is that it doesn't stay like this very long so we need some measure to make the PCB withstand the time so freshly stripped it looks like this as you can see it is very blank and very shiny now and it has rests of all the crap on side I'll need a little more pressure on that I guess so okay let's tin it now I used the Seno tin uh, I have um, the Bungert Sur tin suspension here but I didn't use it yet first if this one is uh, it's a little used up so but it will work it needs to be blank that's the whole trick so you can see that it works almost right away okie doke we wriggle it alone around a little That's a chemical tinner. There are other ways of. Oh, well, yeah. Treating a PCB, but the, the chemical one is the easy one. And I'll have a look. Yeah. See? already tinned a little but I guess it needs a little more it's a little used up so it takes longer but the trick here really is to make it very very clean without fat or any other residues on the surface then it works well it's for the eye but it's also for well prosperity so to speak it it will make your PCB last longer, believe me. 
professional PCP is always at least tinned. Never we just see blank copper on a professional PCP. That's because copper is it's, it's it's no good. So yeah, almost good enough already. <laughs> Okay, I'll probably leave it in for a, a little longer, but here's the preliminary result. Next step will be drilling it and finally of course populating it. Thanks for watching.